Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own countdown timer in Camtasia 2020. All right, so let me just show you what I made and I'll play it for you. It's a 10 second countdown clock timer. So I will play this for you. So it's cool, right? Like, I mean, it's a 10 second countdown thing and you can put it at the end of your videos, during. And the way that I've done it here with the colors, these are our branding colors and you can do this for your own branding colors as well. All right, so first thing, and this part is optional, you can choose to have music with it or not. I thought it would be fun to have some music in it just to give it a little bit more character. And this song here I found on YouTube and it's a channel called Argo Fox. They allow you to use the music for free in your YouTube channel in exchange for giving them credit. So you have to put, you know, the name of the artist and the name of the channel that supplied you with the free song. So that part's optional. And then next what I did, I'll just move over here. I got a circle piece. And so I went into, I have it in my favorites, which I put a bunch of stuff in my favorites to save time. But if you don't have it in your favorites, you wanna head over to annotations, go over to the shapes, make sure that the style is selected to all, because then you'll have a list of everything. And if you scroll down, it's this perfect circle right here. And you just wanna drag it down on the timeline. Now I wanted to leave the background black because our colors are black, white, and purple. But if you want a different color background, then you'll need to place that down at the bottom. So give you an example, if you wanted the background to be white, you'll need to place a something like a rectangle and just stretch it out and then have it have this length go for the entire duration of the 10 seconds and then it will be a white background but like i said i wanted it to be black so that's why i didn't have any shape that needed to be on the bottom there now next you want to increase the size of this circle and to make to keep it in a perfect circle you want to hold down shift and then grab the corner and then start enlarging it. If you do not hold down shift and then you start grabbing it, then it just kind of goes all wonky. So make sure you hold down shift, get it to the size that you want. I wanted it to be re relatively big and in your face. And from here, you want to select the color that you want the background to be on. So you can see that this is the white circle and the purple was the numbers. So let's do a little bit different here. Let's go for blue and we'll leave it there. Then you, what you want to do, you have to do all these initial things first and then you can just copy and paste everything and it'll go by much faster. Because this is a 10 second timer, I want it to be one second for each number. So what I'm doing right now is because I'm starting over here, I'm going to start right at the 12 second mark on the dot there. And then I'm going to find where the 13 second is, which is right there. And I'm going to shorten this so that this becomes one second. Now, another method that you can do is, let's just stretch this out. Right now, this, this thing is three seconds, a little over three seconds. Another way to do this is you can right click and go to duration and then type in one and then it will give you exactly one second. So I placed the blue circle at exactly 12 seconds to start and then now I want to have the number, which is basically the text. So I'm going to head back to annotations, 
go to this area right here and find the text. Now I have it also in my favorites and I usually grab this one right here, drag it down, and you can see that it's going to be probably in a white text and it's going to be in the standard one here. So first thing I'm going to do is put your first number that you want to start it at. So I wanted to count down from 10. So let's just do that again. And then from here, I want to change the font. Now you want like a big, bold font. I used a, a font called K, KG Summer Sunshine. This is a custom font. I installed this font. And if you don't know how to install fonts on Camtasia for free, I have a tutorial on how to do that down in the description below. But basically, I, ch I chose like a really big chunky font because I want the numbers to really stand out. So I'm going to change it to that. And let's go with, I'm going to choose another color. Actually, you know what? Let's just go with white. So I'm going to place now the number 10 here in the center of the circle. And then because I know that the circle is one second, I'm just going to take this here, the 10, and just size it just to the same as the circle. Now, once you've done all that legwork in the beginning, you can now copy and paste and then it becomes easier. So now I'm going to highlight both of these and you just click your mouse down the left mouse button and highlight. Now I use my keyboard and I go control C to copy and then I move my cursor over and then I go control V to paste and then it does something like this. Now I want to do this for 10 times. So I want to make sure to have 10 of these. So I can, I mean, there's a, many different ways. You can go one by one or you can go up to five and then copy the whole thing because you know it's 10. And then there you go. Now you have 10 because you did five initially and then you copied it and then you pasted it and then it's another five. So from here, you now want to go in and alter each number as a countdown. So I'm going to do that as eight. I'm double clicking. That's eight. Oh, that was nine. Sorry, that was nine. And now we're at seven. And we're just going to do this all the way along. Okay, so now I'll just play that. And you can see it looks cool, but we want to add a little bit more flavor to it, like in the initial first one. Because if you play this one, this one's got way more flavor than this one. So what I did was I added some behaviors to the circle. So I'm gonna click on the first circle because I don't want it added to the, the rest of them yet. I just wanna play around with the first one. And I'll go to behaviors. And I kind of just hover over to see what it looks like. And that's kind of like a drifting thing from the bottom. This is like an explosion thing. Fly in. But I, I ended up choosing the pulsating one just because it gave it kind of like a dancing look. So I'm going to grab the pulsating and I'm going to add it to the circle. And I'm going to press play and test it out. So you can see that it had like a really cool effect. Now I'm going to click on it and it says pulsating here. So it's got in, during, and out. I want the during, the, the during this behavior, nothing to happen because I want the pulsating to happen in the beginning and then nothing during and then at the end it can shrink to go out. I do this just so that there's a little bit more time for it on screen when it's not moving and going crazy because it is only one second that is playing. So I'm going to press play and that's a little bit better in my opinion. 
All right, so once I have this, I'm going to right click and go copy effects. And then I'm going to highlight the rest of the nine, right click and paste the effects. So now all of them have this added to it, the behavior, the pulsating behavior. So now I'm going to press play. So now it's got like a cool animation thing happening now. And it's going down and then one second. There you go. Oh. Now the last thing is, you know, to make it even more better, in my opinion, I'm going to add some music. So I'll take what I had here and basically just transfer it over. So you saw what it was like all silent. And now here it is with music. So I chose like a funky type song to go with it, like a bunch of, you know, it's got a lot of beat happening and there's a lot of movement happening here with the circle and the numbers and the countdown. So I thought they were a good match together. And you can basically do this for however long you need. Like if you need it to be 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you just need to replicate the numbers and the shapes to whatever seconds you need it to be at. So that is how you create your own custom branded countdown timer. If you guys like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course with over 70 lectures. And if you want to enhance your Camtasia training, advance your learning, learn Camtasia faster, I highly recommend checking it out down in the description below. You guys can get two months free access. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.